ton of boats here for sale. And we've been looking at all of them, but it is cold. We're getting ready to go. Big giant osprey. Wow. Can you see its white speckles on its chest? That's a big pretty bird. I'm a little storm beaten. I just woke up. Look at the windows. <laughs> so we tried to outrun the storm that was coming into like around the Houston, Texas area and it caught up with us right in Baton Rouge where we're at right now. We're headed towards New Orleans. We're about an hour and 20 minutes away. And New Orleans is in like a little pocket of like protected weather. So uh, we figured we got like 50 minutes to get outside the storm and uh, yeah, if we can get this ice off our windshields. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of scary driving in it, but we'll just take our time and go slow because it's only gonna get worse here and Technically, I could stay here, um, but Captain Dan, his rig isn't winterized for really cold weather, which is kind of scary because it's already really cold. I don't know what this is from. Does anybody know? So, it only appears every once in a great while I get this dot right between my eyes. And I've never had like an injury there or anything. I don't understand. It's not blood vessel -y or anything. It's just like this red dot that every once in a great while will appear. It's just the weirdest thing. What does that mean? Ooh, lightning. Hey, be nice. My animals are all nervous because it's thundering too. Everything is, everything is covered in a nice sheet of glass. Like everything. <laughs> so we're going to have to be really careful getting out of here. I think she's kind of cute with all this ice on her. Look at that. It's kind of Christmassy. Oh. <laughs> well, I almost made it to New Orleans before the storm caught me. <laughs> they closed, they're starting to close the interstates, so I'm trying to hurry ish, obviously, safely, um, to get over this bridge. It's my last. to the term ice box. <laughs> a little more a little more weight than I want. <laughs> but she looks cute. <laughs> so this cubby this cubby is the one I keep my food in. <laughs> looks like I'll be eating out. And then this one down here I keep the goat and dog treats and stuff in. That's not opening for a minute. <laughs> I just don't like the weight. This is all just an ice shell. It's my ice box. Luckily my door back here and all this is good. Keeping it frosty. <laughs> all right, back on the road again. I may seem all right way down deep in my shoe, my toe has gone through my sock. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> anyway, uh, about a half an hour away from actual New Orleans. And uh, we're gonna post there 
where the storm's supposed to end after tonight. So it's the best heat pocket I could find. And that's where we're gonna ride her out. And then we're gonna go to Yardi Gras because first time in history, there's been a thing called Mar Yardi Gras with a Y because of COVID, they're not doing the parades and stuff. So people got creative. We're gonna have Yardi Gras. I want to be a part of it. <laughs> so, wow, I look rough this morning. Just got my coffee. Starbucks was closed. Pansies! <laughs> Roads are perfectly clear now. Yeah, it's cold, but whatever. Anyway. goats <laughs> why is it so dark there's is my goats we're snuggled in the gypsy wagon right now it's only about I don't know two o'clock in the afternoon we're in a Walmart parking lot um, there's the storm system going through this is the second time we've just hunkered down in the gypsy wagon because of a storm passing through but uh, everywhere was out of the the gas tanks for my heater so I've resulted to tea lights in my cooking utensils. And actually putting out a fair amount of heat. We're doing pretty good here. And uh, I happened to buy myself these on Valentine's Day and didn't actually drink them. So I'm having them now and working on some different studying. I got some great books. These, This is older, but, you know, the general information is good. The fundamentals and um, my learning utensil now. And it's got a little bit of everything in here. So I'm just in here. Hey, will you knock it off, you little stinker? With this girl studying different boating stuff, working on one of my books, all of the things. Uh, one of my friends that we stayed with for a while in uh, Kima, Texas, made some rum cake that's infused with rum and it's really strong. So, but, and that's all I have in here and I don't want to get out and let the heat out so and I haven't eaten anything but like a donut this morning and it's two so I'm gonna end up eating that I'm I have a feeling because <laughs> I don't want to get out and let my heat out and uh, I might end up a little tipsy in here also got this awesome book I have so many projects and activities my mom got me this for Christmas it's a bucket list of a thousand adventures big and small across the world and this book is amazing and it's got so many things in here that I want to do. It's nuts. So I've been like making and adding to my bucket list and uh, marking things on the map. All of the things. Just, you know, I have some art that I need to do. I'll be honest though, I've just been a little burnt out. I have some bulbs I need to finish and some other work, but... Um, sometimes with art you just really need to have your head in it otherwise it doesn't work you just ruin it hi Ruddle Race is her so beautiful and I started painting on my wall and I haven't finished that yet did some nice iridescent every morning I seem to get woken up by a, a raven or a crow so I decided I was going to paint a raven on the side and that saying just came to me one morning so I decided to paint it on the wall. But anyway, it's pretty snug in here right now. I've got literally stuff everywhere. Not the most organized, I won't lie. I mean, to a certain extent I am, but not not how I like it. Anyway, so this is my life. I'm in New Orleans. Uh, tomorrow is Mardi Gras, and I plan to go have fun. I know everything's closed because of COVID, but they're doing what's called Yardi Gras, which is going to be really fun. It's going to be a unique way that the the holiday will have been celebrated. Look at this group. We're like a deer in head rights. We're like a deer in the camera rights. How are you doing, goofball? Look at his cute little nose. 
her so cute, little Reese. I don't know how much they love her. <laughs> she's snuggled on the on blanket, so she's all cozy. She hates being cold, and she just ate a whole apple, so she's very full. She's got a full berry. I got a full berry. My little sunshine. Such a fun friend. Yes. I love her. I love her. I love having her with me all the times. Her snuggle with me at night. Her give me hell in the morning. <laughs> no, she's great. Coolest animal ever. And they don't stink. The males do, I know, but... The females, like, I only give her a bath, like, once a month, sometimes more. Only if she starts to get, like, a chalky feeling and I feel it on my fingers. But she's always fluffy. She doesn't really get nasty. Which is really nice. Her not a stinky goat. Her not a stinky goat. Her does smell good goats, huh? Her smell pretty. I heard a sweet goat, Rebel Reese. <laughs> She's tired. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you alone. I'll go back to my books and booze. Not a bad little Sunday. Monday. Not a bad little Monday. Books and booze. So I have some serious leaks happening here. <laughs> Filling up Coke bottles. <laughs> and I jimmy rigged this with rubber bands and combs and hair clips to get it to catch in the right spot. And my spork. I feel like MacGruber up in here. But uh, yeah, there's a rainstorm happening and apparently this window leaks really bad. I don't recall this ever being an issue, so this is new. Maybe the ice broke loose some seals or something. So I guess I'm gonna have to check this out. But for now, <laughs> It's been McGrubert. But uh, no. we were talking about bringing up. Don't eat me. Huh? Don't do it. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. <laughs> I'll save you, buddy. I'll save you. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Oh no! Screw it. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs>